Hey everyone, it's Anthony on Ramos. All right, the hilarious and outrageous series Anna is back for season two. It just dropped in July. The series, of course, was created, produced, written, and stars the award-winning actress Anna de la Rogueta. And I'm so excited to be chatting with her again right now. Anna, how are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to see you, Anthony, after a long time. I know. Well, congrats on this series. Uh, season two is great. Season one was nominated for a GLAAD Media Award, so we're very excited to see what happens with you, Anna, from now on in this new season. Um, but thinking about this story, and just in case anyone isn't familiar with it yet, it is, of course, loosely based on, it's a fictionalized comedic version of your own life. And I know the journey to getting this made. You, you know, a lot of people said no, but then finally someone said yes. And here we are with the second season. I mean, tell me a bit about that journey to kind of, and the passion you had of wanting to get this project made. You know, I think for, for a project to get made, it definitely has to be your number one priority. There's so much talent out there. There's so much, you know, uh, stories to tell that it, at the end, it's on who really needs to tell the story, who really has that need deep in your in their heart, because you're gonna listen to knows so many times, and you just don't have. You just has. To, you just have to believe in yourself and say, I have to try it again. I have to ask for it again. I have to, you know, uh, believe in my story. And all, and also, um, in the meantime, in the when they say no, you have to try to make it better and better and work on it until you know it's 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 ready because that is also it's like you're when you're cooking something you know mm -hmm. you have all the ingredients sometimes but it needs to settle it needs to be you know with the perfect aromas with everything so in the meantime i kept cooking the story until i think it was the right time and uh finally happened and i'm so you know grateful and um humbled to be nominated by you guys because that was incredibly for the show and I loved that uh, you guys consider this show important and uh, so yes it was it has been the best experience of my life creatively and you know everything that has showed you know that, I, that it has teach me. I love that and so let's talk about that because you know once you got the yes Pantaya of course is the series is available on Pantaya um, how important was it for you that once you said, okay, I am gonna make this project, that you stay authentic to the story and your own experience? Obviously, like I said, it's a fictionalized version, but a lot of it is inspired by what happened in your own life. Yeah, I, I really wanted to, I felt like in Latin America especially, uh, even though the show now has subtitles, you know, uh, uh, now it's available worldwide, on, in the U.S. and Puerto Rico, Pantalla, but in the rest of the of the world, you can watch it on Prime Video. Yep. So that it's you know that's incredible. But um, it, 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 I just I just wanted to share my story. I just wanted to empathize with the audience. I just wanted to tell, and I thought, well, if it just putting me, you know. I just I just wanted to put myself in that position so people would be like, oh, if that happens to her. You know, obviously, it's it's okay that happens to me, and if she goes through those struggles, uh, it's okay that you know I, I I don't feel that bad. But uh, I just felt like I wasn't seen watching a story about you know a coming of age at 40 with a woman who was struggling with age, with motherhood, with, you know, with, with with you know the pressure of being a mom. Just discovering I I, I had like a late adolescence, you know, like a very late a late bloomer. I, I'm a super late bloomer. So I started to question myself about my sexuality too. And uh, I learned myself so much about, uh, you know, being with a woman, for example, even though I've never had that opportunity before. Uh, but at the same time, I was like, but I'm not gay, but it's incredible to be with a woman because I learned so much about me, which I really, really, um, encourage everyone to do that yeah. uh, be with someone from your sex kind of like to, from your sex even you don't have to if you don't want to but it gave me so much i understood so much about me um and it really helped me with a lot of things 
that I want to put all those stories. Not only that, the relationship with my mother, the relationship with with, with fame, with uh, failure. So I just want to put all that out there, and um, and that's why I wanted to use myself as a medium to to tell those to talk about those subjects. I, I love that, and I think it's inspiring for a lot of people, and obviously super entertaining. Let's talk about Vera Cruz this season, because obviously that episode. Um, it is available now, so I'm, it, I'm not spoiling too much, but obviously it's a very uh, romantic, but also like you were talking about like that that time of exploration for you, Anna, in real life. Tell me about what Anna goes through in Veracruz, Anna on the show. It is a very funny, people love so much the, the, the relationship with the girl in, on season one that literally I when, when I created the show I pitched it for three seasons and I knew what's going what's gonna to happen but like I, I thought like in first season you know that story with the girl was going to end but people loved it so much yeah. that I was like I have to create just one episode about that relationship and what happens with with them so it was first of all it's my hometown obviously you know and so the the, the episode is so colorful and i don't think there's a show out there that has those locations before you know catemaco which like a, it's a, a where all the santeria wow. happens and it's very like a cultural um part of veracruz and uh, but that's where you know i go to try to have like a spiritual journey with this woman and obviously because this is a comedy everything goes wrong and um you know yeah everything goes wrong with her but at the same time she she gives me a lot of answers that the character needs and i give her also the answers the answers that she needs so it's a it's a beautiful it's, it's, it's i think it's a beautiful episode that tour guide got in the way of things <laughs> she did she did but uh uh i just felt like she because in that moment I, I think the show talks about a lot about being authentic, right? And Anna is trying to be someone who's not, who well, she's not, who she's. So she's faking it a lot because also she has someone else in mind, which is the character of Papacito, Papa, you know? A new Papacito. A new Papacito, which also is like a bisexual, you know, of a sexual character. But, uh, and I loved, I really loved that the, that people never, it was never an issue, it's like, especially for Latin America that, you know, the lead guy, you know, was bisexual and everyone, you know, no one even like thought about that. Like they just wanted us also to be together. But anyway, she's also thinking about Papacito and I'm not being true to myself. And that's why this girl, you know, who is the, who lives in, in, in Veracruz, uh, the tourist guy, she really knows who she is. And she really is true to herself. That's why, you know, Chalk's character is attractive to her because that's that's real. That's that's very that's what makes people attractive. If you know who you are, confident. It's, it's yeah. a magnet, you know. And in that moment, Anna doesn't have confidence. She still doesn't know who she is, and uh, she's still lost. And that's why all this happens. But uh, that's why I really like this this episode. It's a really great episode. Uh, just a reminder, everyone, all six episodes of season two of Anna are available now on Pantaya here in the U.S. and the rest of the world, Amazon Prime Video. Um, you know, we know that the, the series is going to be three seasons. So have you given a thought on how you want it all to wrap up? You know, with I know it's so funny. Season two just came out and everyone's like, well, now it's season three. But have you given a thought to, to how it might all come to a conclusion? We are already shot the third season. Oh, you're done, yeah. We're done. We shot it together. We shot back. We shot them back to back. Mm -hmm. So that will come out next year. And yeah. obviously, yes, I know how that's gonna end. Um, so I can't wait for you guys to watch the third season. I think that season is, you know, this second one is just like a, a big mess for her because that's this is a season where she learns. She makes so many mistakes. And she, and then on third season when she learns from them, then finally she will discover who she is and what does she really wants, and uh, and that's what you are gonna get on on season three. What has it been like? Because as we talk about these storylines and how we don't see enough of them, especially when it comes to Latin America, Latin American culture, I would imagine that it has ignited many conversations, and people have reached out to you on social media and beyond. What are some of the things 
that people who have seen your show, Anna, have said to you about, you know, sexuality or, you know, like you said, being a late bloomer and, and finding your way? You know, I've gotten, like, lately, because also the show came out of the pandemic, so we were all, you know, inside, like, we were not being socialized. So lately, now that, you know, the life is kind of, like, a little bit more normal, people, you know, come to me and they said to me, like, I I watched the show with my mother, yeah. and I finally had the chance to talk about certain subjects that I never dared to, you know, to have that conversation with her. Uh, and the same, like, I watch your show and I, it, it's just, I, 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 a lot of the similar things happened to me and I want to thank you for that. So those things obviously made my world. Like, I, that's, that's exactly why I wanted to tell the story. I wanted to do the show. So when people say that to me or they write to me a lot also, it feels really good. It feels really good that, uh, or like they also never been with a woman or like they have a, you know, a very difficult relationship with 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 aging or with their mothers or all that. Um, the, all those subjects, um, they they come to me and and I'm glad that I could make them happier. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's why it's important to have these kinds of programs where it sparks conversations and people feel like they can then talk, like you said, to their parents or their friend or anyone. Um, so obviously that's, you know, we're so excited that you made the series. Um, Anna, what is next for you? You've shot season three. What's the hope? What do you want to do next? I think now, well, I want to keep producing, obviously. I want to produce other, other stuff. Uh, I already have a lot of things in mind and also a lot of like um, invitations to produce with with other people. So I'm super excited about that new job now that I kind of like created for myself. And it was a lot just talk, you know, I, it took me almost nine years, all, the whole process. So I'm tired of talking about myself. <laughs> so I would like, you know, tell other stories. And yeah. also, you know, I, th I have also things coming out. I have, um, uh, a show called Leper Skin, uh, which is, will come out in, uh, with Carla Buguino, which is going to come out in November. I have a, an amazing Mexican film also coming out in November. I, I don't know, late, I don't know the date, but like late, late, later this year. And, um, and yes, and, but as an actress, I really want to do drama right now, which is funny. Uh. I've been doing comedy and horror lately, just comedy and horror or that I want to do like a real drama because that's, that's what I used to. That's how I started, right? What's your favorite show that you're watching right now? My favorite show? Um, let me see. I can't, I can't remember a show that I, I watched. I really like uh, Pam and Tommy, for example. So did I. I. So good, yeah. So good, right? I think the acting was fantastic. I really liked the show. And then one of the late, you know, because we now it's incredible when you can watch a show from two years ago, from six months ago, the one that just came out this week. So obviously I do encourage everyone to watch Anna if they didn't see season one. But uh, I love that. I love to discover new shows for all shows. So that, that one, I know it came out, you know, not that recently, but I think the acting is fantastic. So good. Well, Anna, it is so good to catch up with you. Um, congratulations. Just a reminder, everyone, you can catch up if you haven't seen it. Uh, seasons one and season two of Anna are available here in the US on Pantaya. And if you are watching in any other country uh, around the world, check it out on Amazon Prime Video. And we know season three is going to be coming next year. So very exciting. Anna, it's so good to see you.